Hey guys, out bear baiting this morning. You just see I'm cutting out a trail. Just cut those trees over there. I just wanted to show you here. Um, somewhat 100 feet inside the bush. And we got a, a wolf here across the trail. Now that is one big wolf. I'm gonna put my hand print beside it. And that is one large wolf there. I'm only about a three quarters of a mile, half mile, or mile maybe from where I saw that big black wolf running by himself the other day, so it could be the same one. But on top of that, you know, 100 feet in the bush, there's a Martin track crosses right back here. So, kind of cool. I guess somebody wasn't trapping too hard here this year. Let's see if that stays there. Maybe we'll head in here. We're about a quarter mile in here to the bait. You guys, or back out uh, throwing the last few bear baits out. I just want to show you, oh hey, April Fool's Day. It's not really snowing, it's an optical conclusion. But it is, you know, no matter how giddy everybody is down in the farm fields, you know, all those flatlanders down there, you're, uh, we still got a little bit of winter left up here in the Duck Mountains. I'm only 20 miles from my house. And uh, like there's barely a drop of snow in the fields anywhere and stuff, but it's still winter up here apparently. So, yeah, I still could have been trapping beavers, no problem, after that warm weather. But, oh well, sucks to be me, I guess. Alrighty, we're going to go in here and drop in a, some bear bait and then a few more places down the road. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm here at the first bait, and uh, you see the, here's my stand right there. I normally have my oil container there, but the bears have broken the, the chain, so obviously not this year, but sometime last summer. So we got to... They just take it and they roll it around and try and get stuff out of it. But, you know, if you ever have that happen, they generally are going to, as naturally happens, things will roll downhill a lot easier. And it's a slight low grade here. So we'll go through and see if we can't find... I might put another stand up here too just in case the wind is bad right in here would be a good spot because then we got a straight shot over there and you're got a good distance away a swamp there to guide him in oh there we go there's the bear all right in there heavier chain for this one that old chain that's like a trap chain just don't work too well I got one inch chain link at home I use for it so anyways we'll get her back set up there later hey guys and anybody who's bear baiting and uh, using drums like like this here with the open top and the liquid in there the just thing you want to make sure you do is uh, put a stick in there like this, a little pole. Because you're going to get squirrels that go in there. And, uh, and Martin too, once in a while. 
It's not that often for Martin, but I have, before I started doing this, I think the first year, I mean, I, I've come and had as many as four red squirrels in there, obviously dead and just rotting and de decaying. And then I had one, uh, one time I had a Martin in there drowned in the oil too. So you don't want to do that. Just a waste. So just make sure you get that stick in there and they'll have something to climb out on. It's going to be a greasy mess when they get out of there, but at least they're out. All right. See you down the trail. Hey guys, here I am in uh, one of the other baits. You know, a couple guys asked me about the bears, you know, and they'll be coming out, and I told them, well, it'll be a while before they, you know, I was guessing three weeks, well, depending on the weather, of course, but it's been colder than I actually thought, but apparently I'm not as smart as I thought I was, because here we have a bear that came into the bait. There hasn't been any bait here since last year, but... You know, they're creatures of habit, so he's probably one that was feeding here last summer. Woke up, came for an early stroll. No bait for him, so he wandered off. And I would imagine he's back in his den by now for a little bit of a sleep. But anyways, that's cool. Had one uh, there already. Very unusual. Hey, guys. Okay, I did... Um, five baits. The, uh, I've got enough stuff here for two more, but I'm going to have to bring, there's a bunch of deer crossing the road right there, I don't know if you can see them through all that snow. There's four deer just cross the road there, but anyways, it's, uh, only 19 degrees right now, and the uh, the oil's getting too thick to pour out of the jug. So I'll come back tomorrow, hopefully, if it's warmed up a little bit, or else it'll be not until I get back from North Bay. These other baits up here are all I can get at them pretty easy with the quad, so I'm not too worried about them. Alrighty, okay. See you down the trail, or see you at North Bay. Well guys, it ain't getting any better as I get closer to home. Crazy spring weather. But anywho. At the edge of the park here now. barely see where the road is. And no, it's not just from the cracks in my windshield. Well, that doesn't help, I guess. 